one of the things that come with having a family YouTube channel is people ask a lot of questions. A few of these questions that keep coming up are about Micah. Um, like, what's wrong with Micah? Does he have autism? Have you taken him to a speech therapist? Or why can't Micah talk? Why can't we understand him? So today I will be going through all those questions. Micah, you want to show them the puzzles you're working on? Oh, I want to be hard on all these. Okay, so Micah just finished this puzzle and then he did that puzzle and now he's working on Africa. Do you think you can finish this? No. No? Okay, you work on your puzzle, okay? Okay, Mabel. Okay. So, Micah is a very smart little guy. Mommy, yuck! Yeah. Good job! He died, yuck! Yeah. Okay, let's show them. The heel. Right, there you go. So, when Micah was born, he was 10 pounds, 6 ounces. He was quite a chunky little baby. And, yeah. and I blew up on daddy. <laughs> you threw up on daddy? And then when he was like three months, he was already weighing 20 pounds. So he was a pretty chunky baby. You would think that would slow him down with his motor skills, but instead he was actually pretty advanced. He was crawling at five months and at seven months he was walking with those um, assisted walkers that they just hold on to and balance. And then at nine months he was officially walking. Um, so he's just been going, 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 but Micah has been struggling with speech. Both Jaira and Sophia were a little behind in speech as well, but by the time they reached Micah's age, which is five, they had already picked up on learning and they could speak just fine, no longer worried about that. So I've heard that boys can be a little behind with speech and so I wasn't really concerned that Micah has been a little slow with that because I figured he would just grow out of it. I've seen his frustration and struggle with others not being able to understand him. Normally, if he asks a question and someone has to ask him to repeat it because they don't understand what he's saying. If he has to repeat it too many times, he'll normally drop the subject and he's just giving up on trying to explain himself. Get the pay how about it's in pot do we be? Hmm, I don't know that one. Get the pay how about it's in pot do we be? Hmm. Get the pay how about I can put the TV? Sorry, I'm not sure. Get the pay how about I can put the TV? I can't find the song, have I can't party. Get the pay how about I can put the TV? Hmm, I'm not sure. Get the pay how about I can put the TV? How Bad Can I Be by Ed Helms featuring the Lorax Singers on Amazon Music. My sister-in-law, who is a speech therapist, highly recommend that we get Micah seen and checked out. So, the charter school that we are with offers speech therapy as part of the school and that we have access to that. So we thought, we could just try it out. So I was told that the process to get Micah signed up might get a little overwhelming and intense just because there's a lot of paperwork, a lot of teachers we have to meet with, but they said definitely do it and give it a try. So we got Micah signed up and we started the process. Micah went through a medical assessment which they check for his hearing, his vision, because that can also have an effect, and they checked his mouth for any restrictions. He passed all those tests just fine, so no concerns there. Um, they also asked me a lot of questions about when he was born, 
all the way up to now at five years old, just asking if there are any mental or physical disabilities that could be added to the report to help evaluate Micah as much as possible because they don't want to leave anything out. It was pretty intense. There was a lot of stuff. It was just like everything. What does he like to do? What are some things that he does that's not normal or things that um, he loves or doesn't like? How is he with people? How is he with his family? It's just a lot to go through. And then the next thing we had to do um, a couple Zoom meetings with some speech therapists that would assess him by seeing him and seeing how he reacts or interacts with things they talk to him about. He would, they would show him pictures, ask him to do different exercises. So after all these tests, they diagnosed him with having a disability in the area of articulation and phonology. If I said that right. <laughs> and it's not something he can grow out of. And that at first is what we thought. Um, they said it's not just, you know, having trouble with R's or S's like a lot of kids do and they grow out of it. Um, his is a little bit in depth. He needs a lot of um, special attention to work through those because if we do not help him now, he's gonna have trouble as he is an adult and still have the issues with speech. So Micah has already been in two weeks of classes. And so what that looks like, each week Micah is gonna be doing two classes and each class will be over, I think it's 45 minutes long. So quite often he'll be seeing his teacher and doing a lot of exercises. So that's been going good so far. Um, it's not too much. There's times where he's just like, I'm so tired, I'm done. Which is understandable. It's hard for a kid to sit at the computer and listen to a teacher, but the teacher's been extremely amazing with Micah and adapts with him to help him still feel excited about doing these Zoom calls. That being said, I have heard a couple of his little conversations he has, and it's just funny listening to him talk and say it just the stuff that Micah says. He's just pretty interesting and hilarious. All right, good job. And magic. Now it's bad. It is? Yeah, mommy day. Okay. So to answer those questions, if Micah has any sort of disabilities, that is the only concern his speech therapists have said that he needs to work on. Everything else is that of a normal five-year-old. We were given some exercise to do with Micah as we are at home and he can do during the week. Um, we have these. This is called Fix the Silly Sentence. So Micah, you wanna show him how you do this one? It says the bone is ringing. Is that right? No, a bone ringing or a bone. Good job. Also, his teacher has asked that he work on all of his F words, which are every word that's like fox, funny. He did get the F sound in phone. That's something we've been working with him a lot lately because he couldn't have the phone unless he could pronounce it. So he learned that one pretty quick. It's so surprising how simple things like this um, is really registering to him and it's helping him so much already. So. I am very excited about this whole process. This is the very beginning, and I can't wait to see him improve and see his confidence improve more and more as we continue this. So this is gonna be a very long process. This is what we're gonna be doing for a full year. And at the end of the year, we're gonna come back with all the teachers and we're gonna talk about where Micah started, where he is now, what we need to do for the next year. So Micah, what's your favorite part about speech class so far? Um, game. Games? Okay, so they have where Micah will do some of the work and then they'll do a game with him and then work on words. So it's a little bit of, you know, a little bit of work and then play, work and play. This is very new for us. If you guys have any recommendations or 
know of things that have helped with speech therapy, please let me know in the comments and I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Even to keep Micah, you know, occupied sitting there, I've seen some people where they put their computer on the table with the Zoom call and then their kid is propped up on a bike but their back wheel is lifted up so they just pedal, pedal, pedal as they're on the Zoom call so it kind of keeps them occupied but they're still listening. I don't know if that'll work for Micah because I think he might just get distracted with that. We're gonna keep updating on the whole process um, as Micah is going through this. Are you working on your puzzles, Micah? Okay, guys. All right.